Okay, so again, the question is always, well, if I have grips that were put on the traditional way with solvent and double-sided tape, can I pull those grips off, save those grips, don't have to cut them off, can I do that using compressed air? And the answer is yes in many cases. Now, this is not going to work every time. Certain grips it's not going to work with, but I'm going to show you the process and how to get a grip off, hopefully. So you're going to need a couple extra pieces of equipment, let's call it. And one of those is a piece of PVC pipe. This is about uh, one inch PVC pipe. But this PVC pipe I have cut into two lengthwise slices so that they fit together and form a piece of PVC pipe. But this is going to be integral to getting, hopefully getting this grip off. The other thing we're going to need, I've got right over here, is just some tape of some kind. It can be masking tape, it can be duct tape, it can be electrical tape. The reason we need this PVC pipe is when we start shoving air into this grip, what is inevitably going to happen is the air will try and find the path of least resistance. And in most cases, what that ends up meaning is the air is not going to necessarily want to go this way down the grip, which is what we want. It's going to want to go this way, this way, down, up, every other direction. What happens when that occurs? You get bubbles and the bubbles start to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And then eventually, if you don't stop, the bubble pops. So we're going to put the PVC pipe just kind of like this. We'll start with this. We'll kind of start up here and just start working the masking tape down barber pole style, just like that. And then just kind of squeeze it on there. At this point, I'm just going to tell you the process because once I turn it on, it'll be kind of loud and you won't be able to hear me. But we're going to put, obviously, this side into the vent hole in the back of the grip. And we're going to turn this on. And we're just going to sort of try and work the air down the grip. And what that basically means is I'm just going to be sort of working, twisting the grip as I put the air in. And just paying attention. Now, if things go horribly awry, the bubble may pop out and it might even rip the tape because this is just masking tape versus if we use duct tape, which would be sturdier. Well, we're going to hopefully not have that issue. But if you see anything start to like blow up and all of a sudden you're thinking, oh my gosh, this doesn't look right, make sure you pull the air out and let the grip decompress. Okay, that was 85. Let's go to 90. Now you'll notice it kicked off, but it had put a bunch of air in there. So even though it was off, I could still use that air and get it loose. And I can already feel it's a little looser. So we're going to do the same thing again, sort of pump it full of air. If the compressor cuts off, we've still got the air inside there. We can kind of work it forward and hopefully get it off. Masking tape was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, right there, that is what we would consider a epic fail. Uh, as you can see, what ended up happening was this masking tape was not strong enough. And basically, once the pressure got to a certain point, we started to get that bubble. It started to fill up. It ripped the tape. And once this popped open, that bubble just went and popped, blew up, and this grip is now ruined. So. That being the case, we're going to do this one more time. I'm going to show you how to do this and we're going to make it work. But this next time I'm going to use some extra strong duct tape wrapped around this PVC pipe. Put this down here and make sure that it is doubled up. All right.
Well, you win some, you lose some. And in this case, we definitely lost. Uh, obviously, that first grip completely blew up when the tape ripped. This time, the tape did not rip. It stayed very solid with this uh, extra strong Gorilla Tape. But what ended up happening is we got a little channel of air that formed, a little highway, let's call it, that ended up running down. So we didn't have the pressure build up, but I could not get that air to then move around in the grip to free up the rest of the tape. It just was just going straight through. To be completely honest, this is really not a method that I ever use if I know I'm dealing with grips that were installed the traditional way. Uh, I'm almost always going to just use a grip removal tool and slide that in with some solvent and try and work it off that way. And even then, you're not going to save them all. You're still going to ruin probably, you know, one in five usually doesn't come out very well. So can this work? Yes, I've seen it done. And yes, I've actually done it, although I have yet to do it on film. Uh, but it is uh, still not a great method. So if you're wanting to be able to remove grips, easily, then I would definitely recommend installing them with compressed air and not installing them with tape and solvent because it's an uphill climb at that point. Well, I hope you enjoyed this spectacular failure of a video that really didn't do anything except show you uh, why this is not a easy or great method. If you enjoyed watching me get scared and possibly rupture my eardrum, please go down below, like, like comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. Remember to check out my new channel at Elite Fit Golf. And also, you can find me on Instagram at Mobile Club Maker. We will see you next time. Take care.